Cardinals in Week 8. Well, one of the things that has made this such a great NFL season already is that we've had so many amazing comebacks. And if we're going to look at some of the best so far this season, who better to talk a comeback with than the Muppets, who are making a comeback of their own with their movie coming out on November 23rd. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen, oh, Kermit and you. Gonzo. How are you guys? Trey, Come back. Wait a minute. I had no idea we were gone. Where did we go? Uh, no, well, I, I think what Trey means is that this is our comeback to the big screen. You know, we've done lots oh. of... Oh, yeah. We've yeah, he's got done lots of other like stuff for smaller screens. We've been on the little tiny screen. screen. But now we're back on the big screen with a new movie. Yeah. Are you guys ready to talk about the great comebacks? Let's talk about the great comebacks. Right, here we go. Well, listen, Trey, there is no better way to start this list than with the Buffalo Bills, oh, you good know? Choice. Yes, yes. At 5 4 this year, the Bills have already surpassed their win total for 2010. I have no idea what that means, but I like any team with a buffalo on the side of their helmet. Uh, well, you know, Gonzo, their running back, Fred Jackson, kind of reminds me of you. Really? Yeah, because he can do it all. I mean, running, catching, flying through the air with no apparent concern for his own personal safety. Yes, he is a real multi-purpose back. Does he have a buffalo on the side of his helmet? Yep. Then I love the guy. Mm, let's go on to the next team, number four. Gonzo, who is at number four? No question, the Detroit Lions have been one of the biggest stories in the NFL this year. Yeah, that 6-3 record, huh? You know, that can-do attitude. You know, Gonzo, uh, they have lions on the side of their helmets, too. Hmm. I prefer buffaloes, but lions are cool, too. Oh. Hey, listen, don't forget about Megatron, guys. Uh, what, what's a Megatron? You know, actually, that's a good question. I'm not really sure, but it's the nickname for their great wide receiver, Calvin Johnson. Oh, right. Now, that's a great nickname. I used to go by the nickname Custard Shield, but never really caught on. Yeah, I, I, I can't imagine why. Can you? No, neither, neither oh, can oh. I. Yep. You call me Custard Shield from now on? No, I will not. Okay. Never hurts to ask. Eesh. Kermit, let's go on to number three. Okay. Our third best comeback this year is A.J. Green. Well, now, wait a minute, Kermit. Yep. He plays for the Bengals, so you mean the Cincinnati Bengals, right? Well, yes, yes, but I just happen to have a soft spot for a guy named Green. You know, it's not that easy being Green. I've heard that, and no. it's also no. hasn't been easy being a Bengal, uh, except for this year. They've had a rough go of it lately. Hmm. Bengals? Weren't they a girl singing group in the 80s? Uh, uh, no, that was a Manic Monday thing. Oh, that was the Bengals. Oh, the Bengals. Yes, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Uh, listen, but don't forget how green the Bengals are. I mean, they, you know, they even have a rookie quarterback. Yeah, but can they sing Walk Like an Egyptian? Uh, no, I don't think so, but I think they may be able to dance like Mesopotamians. Ah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, no, good no. point, though. Good point, yep, Gonzo. Yep. So, Kermit, who do you have at number two? Trey, the number two team on our list has to be the Houston Texans. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. You know, they're in the driver's seat in the AFC South, leading the division by two games at 7-3. Yeah, but the problem for yep. them is, Kermit, is their quarterback, Matt Schaub, is now oh. out for the year. He's got yeah. a serious foot injury. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. guys, I'm sorry. I didn't want to bring up feet. I, I, you know, I hope that's not a sore spot for you guys. Well, I think it's only a sore spot for Matt. Yeah, how do you know so much about football? Well, I watch ESPN. Oh, you just plug their network. Yep. You think maybe now they'll mention that our movie, The Muppets, opens in theaters November 23rd? Uh, and you just did. Oh. Whoa, I am getting good at this press tour stuff. You certainly are. But back to the Houston Texans. You know, they have a very potent offense, you know? I had them as my Super Bowl dark horse back in September. Hmm. Did you really, Gonzo? That's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, I have no idea what a Super Bowl dark horse is, hmm. but it sure sounds impressive, doesn't it? All right, guys, you ready? It's the moment of truth. Yes. The number one comeback so far in 2011 is... The Muppets! Oh, wait, uh, what? Well, wait. What? Well, let's watch some game tapes. Oh. Raw Jim. Oh. Come on, guys, let's go! <laughs> I told you I was getting good at this press tour stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a, in football parlance, we'd call that a flea flicker. Oh, oh, I wish you hadn't uh, said that. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I, oh, it's oh, not that I was implying. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Kermit, you understand. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so apologies. We'll just move on. Hey, sure. Yeah, yeah, please sure. do. Yeah, yeah. You had to, Kermit, sticking to football. Right, right. The right. number one comeback. Oh, that's easy. The San Francisco 49ers. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a good call. I mean, they're 8-1. Yeah, they're yeah. running away with their division, the NFC Trey, West. You know, Trey, I like the 49ers coach, Jim Harbaugh. Uh, I, although I do think he learned his handshake back patting technique from Miss Piggy. Uh, that is true. I mean, yeah. you have to be careful. Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes Harbaugh and Miss Piggy, they can get a little exuberant. For exuberant's a good word. I like the word exuberant. And I like the exuberance yeah. I've had with you guys. Oh, thank you, Trey. It is it's it's like so much fun. Thank, thank you. you. Much. Understand. Yeah. Thank you, All right. Yeah. Let's wrap. That's a wrap. We're out of here. Bye-bye. <laughs> the car.